Hot. All right, guys, get your mind out of the gutter. You should be ashamed of yourself talking like that. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace. And I'm coming at you here with a video where I'd like to talk about some of the issues and controversies surrounding the air gameplay. Now, I've been a pilot in a variety of different games since, I believe, 2010, something like that. And there are a few things that just keeps repeating themselves no matter what game I play. Now, let's start with the role of the pilot. Basically, what you need to do is uh, kill a lot of people, and generally, that's it. But on top of just killing, there are always a little bit of extra roles, like, for example, with the trench fighter loadout of the fighter plane that you see me flying here, I can use the flares which spots people that are in the vicinity. This helps both me and my teammates locate them. Now, if you instead choose any of the other two plane types, you can also have either one or two gunners with you, but aside from them just helping you shoot and kill people, that can also work as a spawn point, so a player can spawn in, jump out, and then the next person can spawn in and either continue gunning with the pilot or jump out and help fighting on the ground as well. There's a world outside of the gutter. There is. You just have to open your mind and explore it. Who knows, you might be a better person. <laughs> now, aside from what I just brought up, Planes or aircrafts normally have a few more roles, but the only other main role that I would like to bring up in this video is, of course, that in almost all games, you also have loadouts that are specifically designed to counter other aircrafts. Now, the problem here is that uh, normally, if you are good or if you're doing good, all you do is kill a lot of players in the enemy team, which stirs up a lot of emotions. Now, some of this is, of course, justified, but for the most part, it's childishness and the angry person's own fault for not using the tools at their disposal in a way that the game has been designed. So now, when it comes to the game design of Battlefield 1 and games that are similar to Battlefield 1 when it comes to air versus ground gameplay, it's just the lacking roles of the pilots. Now, what I would have wanted to see long before even Battlefield 1 was released, and something that I have suggested several years ago, actually, is that the objective gameplay really should be a part of flying. Now, in Battlefield 1, the idea is already here, but it's implemented in such a small and insignificant way that it doesn't really affect the overall gameplay. For example, on this map, Empire's Edge, you can capture E with a plane, and you can also capture one of the points on Sinai Desert. But just adding one by plane capturable point doesn't really matter. But on top of only the numbers of capturable points, these objectives also need to be somewhat interesting. It has to be fun, and there has to be an interesting and balanced challenge to actually try to capture that point with a plane. So just having an open area big enough so that you can capture it by just uh, circling around it a few times, that doesn't really cut it. Map design is important even here. A tall building, a mountain top, something that looks cool and that is interesting from a gameplay point of view, and preferably also something that pushes the pilot's skill a little bit, just to make it fun and interesting. So now, aside from what I just brought up, there's another issue with the air game gameplay more specifically, and that is uh, no, the air-to-air -air gameplay that doesn't really give you the incentive to really chase down other planes. It normally isn't all that rewarding. Both pilots and gunners can bail out from the plane, denying you from kills that sometimes you really do deserve. But what is the actual big problem here is, uh, what I believe at least, that... The only thing that is actually registered in your statistics is the kills and the score. And in my opinion, that is really, really misleading. Now, first and foremost, getting a lot of kills and a high score is a lot easier on operations than conquest. So there's a problem right there. But there's also a complete lack of recognition of your overall air-to-air -air success. Aside from ribbons, of course. But that just, again, not enough. What should be clear in your statistics and what should matter in your scoreboard actually is the overall kills on enemy aircrafts you have as a pilot and also actually the amount of damage you have done to enemy planes. Now the suggestions have made if implemented correctly this could make planes focus more on planes and less on just trying to farm infantry. Now this might sound easy enough in a YouTube video while it actually is really hard to implement properly but we always have to start somewhere. 
So now, when it comes to making the air gameplay more fun, challenging, and interesting, and all that, then of course I have to bring up another problem with Battlefield 1, and uh, this is not an air specific problem, but more of an overall problem with the game as a whole, and that is that it is just too casual. Now, this problem with the game being simplified has, uh, of course, it has quite a number of explanations. Obviously, uh, EA and DICE wants to uh, gain as many players as possible from their arc rival, uh, Call of Duty. And for that, of course, they need to make it rather casual. The problem with that is that uh, after playing the game for a few months or sometimes even a few weeks, you just get really bored with it. But I'll try to elaborate on this more in depth in another video. And I know this has been brought up by a lot of other content creators and it's been talked about on Reddit as well. But yeah, I think it actually needs to be discussed even further. So now, just going back a little bit to what I previously mentioned about the statistics, one of the problems with only having kills as the measure of your success, so to speak, is how incredibly misleading it is, especially in a game like Battlefield 1. Now, I think most people will understand that it is far easier to just farm infantry kills than to fly around and chase other planes around the way you see us doing here. Now, getting a lot of kills is, of course, a very strong motivating factor for a lot of players, and a surprisingly big portion of the player base seem to believe that the number of kills automatically transfers over to your level of skill. Nothing could be further from the truth, especially not when you have three different platforms and two different game modes. Now, the previous suggestions I made about adding plane kills and plane damage to your pilot statistics is also a terrible way of measuring your pilot skills. But even if it is really, really bad, it is a lot better than looking at kills and score. Bomber spawning. Oh, Jamie, you got the right one. We have taken objective Edward. Turning away from the bomber, I hit him for forty five. Guy is jumping from the bomber on C. Bomber down. The bomber. Losing C now. Yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> He's <a> raging. <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> He's no? always mad because of the lags. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. It is annoying though. He's right. Baby, yeah, it yeah, it is. If he pulls you down just because of nothing. Yeah. Of a lag and you crash somewhere in. Okay. Clear. Oh, attack plane is trying to dogfight. Get fucking wrecked. Now there's been a lot of discussions about the upcoming changes to both the uh, trench fighter loadout of the fighter plane, the one you see me using here, and the anti-air cannons. Now I have not tested this yet, but from what I've read about it, I think that the changes are a little bit too much. There are things about the changes that are definitely justified, and that is some of the changes to the explosive right. darts. Oh, but the, the number of changes, the amount of changes, and the changes to the anti-air, that is not justified. And I'm saying that even before I've tried oh, it, shit. because that is just simply My too teammate. much. Now, one of the things that we see here with these changes is that it's becoming a bad habit among game developers to constantly reward bad players. It's like they're saying, oh, so you suck? Well, here's your reward. You just had to flame enough on a variety of different forums. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be all that unusual. And whether or not it continues, well, that remains to be seen. Now, what I consider the justified change is probably about this. It's about being able to fly high enough above anti-air and snipe it without the anti-air having a chance to shoot back because you're simply out of range. 
Now, honestly, I think that uh, example was rather terrible, because I think the anti-air actually could have hit me there. But even though I almost never used this technique myself, I've seen a lot of other people, especially uh, less oh, experienced yeah. pilots, use they that technique did. in order to kill QF-1 AA gunners. Now the thing is that that specific nerf in itself yep. is going to impact the overall effectiveness of the darts as a whole. So why the other nerfs are going to be needed, I don't know. It remains to be seen. Uh, my guess is that it's too much, but uh, yeah, there's going to be a variety of different opinions about that, no matter how much or little anything is being changed. But the buff to anti-air, however, that is just silly. I've seen a lot of people crying, flaming and whining about it, and I have shown and explained how to use anti-air effectively on my YouTube channel. It really isn't anywhere near as difficult to use anti-air as it is repeatedly being Easier. described, especially on Reddit. There's been many times when I've been flying with the anti-air trying to shoot me on my left, and then when I look with the free look in a 90 degree angle to the left, I see how the shots actually hits behind me. This is about leading, it's about understanding the gameplay mechanics in a game that is slightly more advanced than Call of Duty. Oh, Go shoot, shoot. Why did I need one for this? Fuck! This spawn system is so fucked up. Ah, I got wrecked. Now, in the future, I'll probably come out with a few more videos about the anti air. And yeah, I'll try not to make fun of people that are complaining about how hard it is to use, but in all honesty, I guess I shouldn't make any promises about that. Now, how these upcoming changes are going to impact my YouTube channel and my stream, uh, hopefully not all that much, but we don't know that. He bailed! He's in distress. I'll survive. I'll survive, that mouse. Oh, don't yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Empress Bob. Oh shit 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 shit! Some of Emma's goodies. Nice. No. So while all these nerfs are coming to the trench fighter, what they actually need to do is to add one buff to it. And that is to what you see me doing here. The main machine gun needs to be more effective towards infantry. It shouldn't be only the top pilots that are able to do that. Obviously, the nerf is the result of people being uh, rather frustrated and sick of being at the receiving end of what you see me doing here. And for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you a mix of moments when I'm flying around with the trench fighter and uh, whatever you think about uh, my suggestions and my point of view here. I really hope you have enjoyed the video. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm in another server. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Seriously, good fucking job. I mean, and this tank then? Holy oh, shit! Siamo attenti. C'è un soldato. We are losing objective Dove. Losing Dove. Ho individuato un soldato nemico. All right. Let's see if we can do this thing, guys. You've seen it before, we'll do it again. I don't really exactly remember where it is, though. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's how you take out the anti-air on... Uh, uh, yeah, on D. If you're... Whatever we are. So is there another anti- Yeah, so there's the anti-air again. So we'll have to do it again the same way. Now I marked him, so now it's easy to find him, but... Still risky. So, same thing. It's, it's not really that hard. They're Danish. Yeah, we're the Danish team, Emma. Yeah, I know, Emma. We're the Danish team. <laughs> yeah, the the white cross and the red flag. Oh, baby, a quart. I don't 
don't see him. Oh, how did it blew up so fast? That was really fast, yeah. I had to go. Yes. Oh no, they're angry. I love killing them with the machine gun. The fuck is this? We have taken objective dust. If this guy flies any slower, he will get a parking ticket. <laughs> 